In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide or gray out your out of stock product variations within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. For this, we're going to be using the variation swatches for WooCommerce by WooSuite, which you can download at WooSuite.com. And you can just go ahead and select WooCommerce variation swatches. There's a free version and a pro version for this. I'll be using the pro version. So once you've downloaded the plugin, you want to head back over to your WordPress dashboard, just navigate to plugins, add new, and then just go ahead and install the file in which you just downloaded. So we'll just upload it and then just install and activate it. Once you've done so, you will see a variation swatches menu here because I'm using the pro version. It's actually nested under the WooSuite menu. So You'll just look for WooSuite and then we'll see the same variation swatches menu. Go ahead and click on it. Okay, so assuming you've installed and activated the variation swatches plugin, it will see this WooSuite menu here and then this variation swatches sub menu here as well. If you don't have the WooSuite core plugin activated, then you won't see this WooSuite um, menu here. You'll just see the variation swatches menu somewhere here. Just look out for that. So before we actually look into the settings, we need to make one change within WooCommerce. So let's open the WooCommerce settings here. So let's go WooCommerce and then let's open the settings in a new tab. And then let's go to products and then let's navigate to inventory. So here we've got general, then we've got inventory. And then let's enable this hide out of stock visibility. Let's hit save changes. Okay, perfect. Now let's head back over to our variation swatches settings area. So we're in the general settings. So we're just going to scroll down. So currently I've got two um, swatches enabled. I've got our color swatch and I've also got a radio button swatch as well for our size. So let's scroll all the way down and then here we can see out of stock behavior. So currently it's set to um, blur with a cross. That is fine. So we'll just save changes and then let's check on our product page. So here we can see our product swatches displaying perfectly fine. So we need to actually set one of these um, variation to being out of stock. So let's click edit product and then let's go variation once it's loaded. And then I'm going to select the red one to be out of stock. So Let's go stock status, out of stock, and then let's just hit save changes. Once that's saved, we can go ahead and update our product here. And once it's updated, we can go ahead and refresh our product page. Okay, and there you can see our settings working perfectly fine. So currently it's out of stock, so we're not able to select anything. So if we want it as well, we can head back over to the variation swatches settings area and we can go ahead and change this behavior here. Let's hide the out of stock product instead. So instead of um, graying it out with a cross, we can go ahead and just hide it all together. So now let's refresh this page. So as you can see, the red swatch is completely hidden from view. So, so far I've shown you how to gray out the out of stock um, variation and also how to um, gray out as well. So here we have three options by default. So we can blur it out with a cross or we can just blur it out without a cross or we can just hide it completely. And I've just shown you how to hide it. To blur it out without a cross, as the name suggests, it's just going to gray out and it won't be a cross going through it. So let's just double check this. Let's refresh this page. And there you can see our red option isn't selectable and it's actually just grayed out. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. All the links and resources is in the description below. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below and we'll get back to you also.